Welcome back everyone, it's Robert Hall and in today's video we're going to dive into the current lineup of quick soft boxes from Cheetah. I know you guys have heard a ton about these Cheetah soft boxes so I'm happy to go over them in more detail. Now before we dive in, Cheetah was kind enough to sponsor a giveaway here, so one lucky winner is going to take home any Cheetah soft box of their choice. All you have to do is, after watching, comment below which softbox you would choose. Then I'll respond to the winner's comment and all you have to do is message me your address from that same YouTube account. And I'm sorry to the international peeps and Hawaii and Alaska, but this is going to be for the continental US only. Now in my last video I talked about the Cheetah Quick Soup Bowl 34 inches being my favorite and how I was really looking forward to getting the Cheetah Quick Rice Bowl. Well, I've now amassed a complete collection of these. I've got both of the quick rice bowls, all three of the quick soup bowls, and the Max 20. And today I'm going to show you how all of them translate to quality of light and talk about some of the finer points of using them. Before I get into the intricacies, let me go over how they are all similar. All these soft boxes have an umbrella mechanism on the inside for quick setup. All of the modifiers have a pebble silver material on the inside which is designed to even out the light spread and both the interior and exterior feel really rugged. All of them have the option of putting a grid on the front panel as well as putting a beauty dish plate on the inside. This is really nice for using them with a the speed light because it'll help send that speed light's narrow beam of light to the outside walls. It also allows you to skip that inner layer of diffusion and instead just use the beauty dish plate to block out that hot spot. Now the quick soup bowl and the quick rice bowl both come with two layers of diffusion, an inner layer of diffusion and outer layer diffusion. The inner layer of diffusion has a second part of diffusion around the center to help eliminate the hot spot and it attaches to the inside of the softbox with velcro straps. The outer diffusion is lined with velcro so that you can attach it to the inside of the perimeter of the softbox. The Max 20 is the only one that does not include an inner layer of diffusion. This was basically deemed irrelevant to light quality by the Cheetah owner. In the last modifier video, you guys mentioned wanting to see sample shots, so I called on Francina to play statue for me so that you guys can see the quality of light from each modifier. I asked in my group what distance you guys thought would be most appropriate for this type of test, and so I kept every modifier six feet away from the subject. I used my Godox 8600 Pro as my light and I had it mounted on the Cheetah rolling boom stand. The light was positioned roughly 40 degrees camera right, pointed directly at the subject with a slight tilt down and the center just a little bit above eye level. And for each modifier, I showed it with no beauty dish plate, no grid, just double diffusion, except for the Max 20, which only has the outer diffusion. Also, at the end, I do show the quality changes of one softbox as you add the plate and add the grid and kind of all the different ways that you can modify that softbox. First up is a 26 inch quick soup bowl or QSB 26. This is a more shallow shape, which will cast a wider pattern of light. We see a moderate level of softness and a really good level of coverage. There is some specular highlight happening on the model's nose and cheek. Next up we go to the Quick Soup Bowl in 34 inches, QSB 34, which is my favorite modifier. I love this modifier so much because it's the biggest size that I can get that I feel like I can still comfortably walk away from when I'm working alone. For the light quality we see that the specularity decreases, the softness increases, but we still are getting a lot of shape to the face. What I notice most here is the dress shadow on the leg is starting to become less of a distraction. I typically use this modifier around 3 to 5 feet from my subject. Stepping up to the 42 inch quick soup bowl, the QSB42, you can see the specularity on the cheek is almost gone and the shadows are pretty much ideal to my taste. I also feel this is where the catch lights really start to pop when looking at the image full screen. The dress shadows on the leg are now pretty soft and do not call significant attention. Now we're going to drop down in size to the Max 20 which is a deep parabolic with a 20 inch front panel. At 6 feet this provided a semi hard shadow that carves out features intensely. Despite the small size the specular highlights aren't overwhelming. You can increase the specularity by removing the front diffusion panel. There's some fall off towards the bottom of a full length portrait yet the subject is still illuminated entirely. Next is the 36 inch quick rice bowl. This shares the same deep parabolic shape as the Max 20 but on a larger scale. I really like this modifier because it sends light in a tighter pattern which gives you more control over where your light spills. It's great for keeping your light directional and soft. 
We bring back a bit of specularity on the nose, but the shadows are still in that ideal range for shaping a face. Despite the tight pattern, we still have great coverage of the model and a full length portrait. Last is a 48 inch quick rice bowl or QRB 48. This looks absolutely perfect to me at 6 feet, which isn't surprising. My favorite quality of light comes when the distance of light is 1 to 1.5 times the width of the softbox. The catch lights have an awesome pop. There's just enough fall off in a full length portrait to draw attention to the center without causing an imbalance. While there are still highlights on the face, I wouldn't even call them specular. The brow shadow is beautifully soft and transitions perfectly into a well illuminated eye with excellent catch lights. We also have the most coverage into the dark side of the hair here. Now the other thing I wanted to show you is what happens when you modify a softbox with different combinations of the grid, diffusion layers, and the beauty dish. I chose to do this using the quick soup bowl because it has the most models available. And I picked the 26 inch version because it's the smallest size and that will help illustrate the changes as dramatically as possible. First up we have completely empty. We get a very contrasty result with deep shadows and very specular highlights with a bright catch light. Next is the dish only. This looks even more contrasty, still quite specular, but reduces the brightness in the center. Next I added the outer diffusion and the honeycomb grid. This reduces the contrast quite a bit. In the full length we can see the light is more concentrated on the model's face and has a strong fall off down the body. Fully loading the modifier by adding the inner diffusion doesn't change much since we are already blocking the hotspot with the dish. Removing the beauty dish plate but keeping both diffusion and the grid doesn't change too much either, although again you can see how the light falls off as we move down the full length portrait. And to finish where we started with only double diffusion on the inside, no dish, no grid, this is where we did our test results and we get back our even spread of light. Now I realized by showing all these different examples that you guys probably want to see more side by side comparisons. But given some people want to compare different sizes and other people want to compare different models and other people want to compare the differences that modifying the inside can make, there was just no great way to illustrate all that in video. I have all of these images published on my blog and their labels so that you guys can pick out any comparisons that you want to make and just look at them on your own computer. I hope this video better helps you understand the Cheetah Quick Softbox lineup. If you want to buy one, I've got links to all of them in the description below. Oh, and don't forget about the giveaway. Make sure to comment below which one you would choose if you were selected as a winner. That, that's the only way to enter, so definitely do that. Share this video if you think it'll help anyone out, and until next time, keep on shooting YouTube.